What's up, friendly targets? My commentary is probably going to be terrible, uh, given the fact that I've been out of the game for quite some time, and I'm just terrible at doing this anyways. But I enjoy watching PvP videos with commentary more than music, so I figure you guys might enjoy this. I came back and wanted to see if the Nano Kang could still be done, and in the right circumstances, like any ship, of course. The reason why it's a big deal for me is I'm in Faction Warfare Minotaur space, and at the time, and this is constantly going back and forth, at the time we own almost all the systems, and the few systems that we do not control are controlled by very, very fierce uh, Amar fighters. Good pilots, but uh, you'll rarely ever get a 1v1 out of them. The slicer I just killed was forward point man for this little gang that showed up, so is this Punisher. They're backed by a... Osprey Navy issue, which was dual auxiliary shield fit, and I could not kill it. The Nano Cane setup is pretty basic two tracking enhancers, two gyro stabs, two nano fibers, a tracking rig, a fall off rig, and a polycarbonate rig for a little extra speed and agility. It's pretty paper tanked, it only has one large ancillary shield wrapper, which means that yes, you can kill most cruisers non-T2, and some of the faction cruisers, but um, that's pretty much it. You're not going to be fighting other battle cruisers in this setup, except for maybe Brutix, which you could kite. Um, I, that's pretty much it. Yeah, a Brutix. <laughs> Anyways, I try and fight this guy and completely mess up on everything and then just start to panic, clicking all over the place. Luckily, I spammed my MJD, or my micro warp drive, I'm sorry and got just a little bit of a boost to get out of there. Moving right along, a few systems over. Or the same system, I honestly can't remember. I run into these guys, they always label their ships TES, which makes it incredibly easy to beat them, or at least not die to them. If you're anybody who knows how to use a directional scanner, you're gonna see their friends coming, and I did, so... I immediately pulled range because I didn't feel like fighting a Harbinger Navy issue, or Imperial, or whatever the hell that thing is. It would just obliterate me. So to add a little insult to injury, since uh, nobody wants to do a 1v1 around a Tsar, I decided to pop a couple of these drones on my way out, and I think I got three of them. Yay. I will consider that a small victory. Next up was a little bit of trickery. This is another forward point, man, for either the same people or uh, similar Amar enemies in the territory. He's just relaying intel, saying there's a juicy, slow, ugly uh, hurricane sitting around this large complex, and I keep it, uh, I keep it looking like that. I basically slow boat around the beacon. I give a couple shots at him, but I don't bother to use any propulsion mod just yet. What I want to do is wait for him to mess up and he will. Now right now is not a good time to go after him because he's taking a few hits. He knows I have good tracking, so he's not going to come in. I wait for the right moment when I can catch him off guard, and that is right now. The direction he's burning is kind of up towards me at an angle, and I know that I can cut him off because I have a mid-grade snake set, which means overheated I do almost 3k. Uh, you can quite easily use this cane without snakes. I've done it plenty of times, but this territory is pretty hot with uh, boosted pilots, so I like to have every advantage I can when I'm going 1v system. Pretty much, yeah, everybody. Anyways, catch him off guard, get a point on him, and that's pretty much over for him. Even if he burns away, and he is plenty faster than me, he's going to get hit by my tracking and die. So whether he orbits or burns away, he's going to die. One really nice feature that Eve added to the game was, as well as damage notifications, you'll see right there that um, you get notifications for how much your energy neutralizer is draining, which is a really nice feature to have because I know when to run it and when not to run it. So I don't have to waste a bunch of cycles trying to nude out a frigate who's orbiting me at 20k. It's going to tell me if I've got enough drain on them or not. Anyways, moving right along, these guys are getting pretty fed up with me plexing their systems. And they tried to catch me. I was messing with them a little bit around the gates and a couple complexes. So they brought in a Pontifex, and they're usually pretty tanky, and this one was. I switched over to, I believe, um, Phase Plasma to get his damage hole. Helped a little bit. Now, I knew that his buddies were coming. 
and you can see a couple of them in your system, but it's too late for him. Uh, the best thing about these complexes, I'm sure you all know, you can't warp to fleet members, and you can't Sino. So, <laughs> if you want to go toe to toe with a Nano Cane, uh, you better have something fast and tanky. And he's dead. Yay. Being pretty happy about the night. Um, I'm about ready to call it. I'm doing about my last last plex here, and uh, a new bro, uh, Alpha, I believe, comes in friendly, Thorax, and a Daredevil follows him. Well, I played it the same as I did with the Federal Navy Comet, but I kind of forgot to record that. I turned my screen capture off when I thought I turned it on, but he did die. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to get to to him in time to save the new bro. And there's that. I think I'm up to eight, seven kill marks. No, wait, sorry. Six, six kill marks on the cane by now. And I'm heading home and I see this red Nursus, I think that's how you say it, uh, Tech One Hauler, tanky bait on the uh, high sec gate here. And seeing if I can kind of get an easy kill, I hang around because I know he's got friends. They've always, it's Amamaki. And one rule about Amamaki is you don't fight an Amamaki unless you absolutely know you can catch him by surprise. And lo and behold, uh, what is that, Magus warps in. And this is absolute perfect. I load Fusion. He is like my dream target. He's not scramming me. He's going to try and jump me. And I just wait for the jump. And of course, I'm pre overheated on my MWD because I don't know if he has a scram. He didn't, but even if he didn't, it wouldn't have mattered. Um, I would have been able to track and hit him pretty well, as well as the newts. And start killing him. He's a pretty easy kill. I know his friends are going to be here soon, and Amamaki's friends are ugly and big. A little hairy. They kind of smell. But it's not going to help him out here. He jumped me 100 off the gate. The Nursus warps up, uh, which is kind of funny, because, you know, I, what, what's he going to do? <laughs> and this Tristan... I don't know what the Tristan was doing. I believe it was an Alpha clone just trying to kind of get one panic point on me. But as soon as the Magus dies, this Tristan decides he's going to take gate guns. I love being not pirate. Positive security status will save your ass if you're a solo pilot. And he dies instantly to me and or the gate guns. I, I don't really know. But there it is. Uh, seven kill marks on that cane. A very happy night. The cane survived. And I decided to go park it, but before I left, because I really hate <laughs> Amamaki, I destroyed these wrecks. Uh, one of them's the Pontifex, that's the one I was most interested in. I don't know which one I shot first. There wasn't anything blingy in them, but a lot of these Amamaki guys roll really blingy, so I just decided to add insult to injury. Not only did they not get a kill, they didn't get their loot back, and that makes me happy. Because, uh, you know, no one wants to solo solo pvp anymore not that i would be a fun ship to solo because i'd just run away or you'd die but when you're going up against a gang that's just about the only way you can do it now to get away with brawling fits i park the hurricane and after spending all night in these systems i bring out the new meta the passive shield tanked scythe fleet issue or navy issue or whatever the hell this fancy scythe thing uh, just one night, I was uh, really tired and bored, and I said, hey, if I pass a shield tank to Scythe, nobody would expect that, so I did. And of course, I go right back to where I was kiting, and they bring in an Omen, which is a pretty good anti-kite ship, because even if you outrun it, it's still going to hit you from point range with a pretty good amount of damage. But he didn't expect this. I'm brawl fit, baby. This Scythe has... 420 DPS not overheated. I don't know what it is heated. And with heat on the afterburner, it goes 1400 meters a second. So his web's not going to do anything. I'm going to hit him with full damage on hail because he's slow and scrammed and they always have a MWD. He did not expect me to be a brawler fit. Now I need to kill him quick because these TES ship guys, they're never alone. I have literally never seen a single one of them solo PvP any, anything ever. So I'm overheated. Overheating the invul uh, is a must during these fast fights. It's essentially going to give you the same effect as overheating a, a large ancillary or an extra large ancillary shield rep. Uh, it, very little heat damage is going to be taken over a long period of time and it gives you quite a bit more tank. 
So you can see, I do get a little worried, but once I see him go into structure, I'm just not worried about it. Of course, an uh, Omen and Omen Namey issue are on less than one AU. I know they're about to come in, so I'm aligned. I turned my afterburner off before the fight even ended so that I knew I would be aligned when his web turned off. They didn't get in in time, but even if they did, I would have just sailed on out of there. And that's pretty much the end of my night. I get one more kill here, but let me kind of explain why my ship looks so ugly. I wanted to kill this guy who was a pirate, so I did. And then a Kestrel came in, and I wanted to kill him because he was also a pirate, so I tried. And then an Orthrus came in. Thank God the Orthrus took gate guns to try and kill me, and immediately ran out of his rapid light missile launchers just as my tank reaches zero. Right there, and I think that was his last missile volley. And it, yeah, that was. I'm taking damage from some of the drones, but I just uh, kind of sail on out of there as he's taking heavy pressure from the gate guns. I should have loaded barrage. I didn't think about it at the time. I should have loaded barrage, and I could have added extra pressure to him. Even though it's an explosive damage type on a shield, it still would have gotten the range out there. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video.